If you build a lot, then you probably understand how important it is to rotate your furniture in 3008. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to try this challenge, so in today's video, I'm going to be trying to build a base without rotating in Roblox SCP-3008. So subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this, but let's just see if I can survive. And as always, to make this fair and to prove to you guys that I'm not like cheating or anything, I always just press play and join a public lobby. A lot of YouTubers like to fake their videos, but as you guys can see, I'm in a public lobby with a ton of people. Now that the challenge has begun, I'm genuinely so lucky to have spawned right here by a cafeteria. When I did the no eating challenge, it was probably the worst challenge I've ever done just because of how hard it was. Okay, first of all, I'm going to turn off camera shake. I hate that feature so much, but now I have to find somewhere to build a base. Let me actually take this toilet for later. You know, you gotta have fun with the toilet. Definitely one of the best best additions in the game. Okay, I was gonna build right here in these shelves, but it seems like somebody's built their own base. Apparently people told me you can pick up the crowbar. Let's see if that's true. Cool, so I guess I can't really use it, but I can still pick it up. I don't want to steal it from this person, so we'll just leave it here. Okay, back to building. I guess I could build here with the rock. Now, since I'm not allowed to rotate, I really just have to place like a ton of stuff to try to make some kind of base. And I'm trying to do this as fast as possible just because there's like two minutes until night comes. I guess I could use something really flat like the beds just for my ceiling. Wait, since we're near a shelf block, I'm just gonna take a few of these pallets. I'm not gonna try to break this person's base. I don't want to touch it. If any of you guys that watch my videos like to grief bases for fun, just know you are not welcome to my community. I'm also not using my snap to grid range at all. I don't even know why. I'm just choosing not to use it. Okay, my roof is practically almost complete. It's actually not a really bad roof. There's 40 seconds left until night comes. This is genuinely not good, fellas. If I can survive this first night and decorate my base, what I'm going to try to do is actually make a second floor for the base. I know it's going to be really, really hard, but still, I think it'll be a fun challenge. Almost 10 seconds left until night comes, and a lot of the pallets have been used. I don't even know how I can get up here because I have nothing else to grab. All right, I'm going to use this desk to get up here. I'm genuinely a bit freaked out. It's turned dark, and now I can't see anything. Got to run back back to the base and keep on building. We're almost done with this roof. All right, I definitely need some lighting in here. Let me steal one of these lamps from here. I hope I can reach it. Yep. Okay, the base is a little bit more lit up. Let me actually use some of these sofas to start building an extra wall just for tonight. By the way, if you got this far in the video, go comment rotate down below and subscribe for more SCP-3008 videos like this one. It would really help out the channel and my videos are going to pop up on your YouTube a lot more. All right, so I'm going to try to have a ground slide door right here just so that I could be able to escape. And now all I really have to do is pile up more of these mini sofas and pray I don't get torn apart. Okay, just a few more things. I think this might work. Never mind. I thought I could rotate it, but then I remember I'm doing this no rotation challenge. You guys gotta understand how hard it is for me to just like not press R because as a builder and somebody who plays this game so much, I rotate a lot. So it's like in my muscle memory to pretty much press R. So I gotta be really really careful. No, somebody took the penguin and blahage. Thankfully, I can still take these cotton candy looking lamps. They're actually going to help me a lot. I'm going to use them as like street lamps just so I won't forget where my base is. I highly recommend you guys to do this. When you're building a base, try to always have a few lights outside to keep everything a lot more lit up. Just a little bit more left in this wall and then we're almost done. All right, I wanted to use this table, but I can't really rotate it. So I guess I'm just going to have to place it low like that. At this point, anything helps as long as I can just cover this base and whatever. Okay, I've got a bit of a secure base. I guess a mini employee could jump right through there, so I definitely want to fix that. And I just noticed my hunger and thirst are at zero, so let me actually... Oh no, I better not be stuck, dude. I better not be stuck. All right, let me actually try to pick this up. Let's move that through here. All right, I've just learned something new. When you're making these ground slide tables, make sure to place them very, very carefully. You do not want to get stuck. Also, guys, try to have a little bit of distance just so that your slide could be longer. Don't like slide right in front of the table. But my thirst is going down, so I got to eat really, really quickly. I really hate that drinking Dr. Bob takes away your health just because it's such like a funny item. Let's go. We survived day one. Let's go. Now for this next part of the base, I do have to make a second floor, but I also have to decorate the first floor. And I also have to make sure that the cracks in the ceiling are closed because I genuinely don't want 
want anybody jumping in here. So let's just pop those in and look at that. We just have a little more to close. Okay, this glass coffee table might actually be really useful for closing that right here. Now, in terms of decorating, I guess a couch would be really nice. But when you have a couch, you definitely need a TV. Let's hope that it rotates. Pro let's go. I was going to say, let's hope that it rotates properly. And it does. So in its original position, without me rotating it, this TV is practically perfect just for like how our couch is positioned. All right, moment of truth. Is it going to have something on it? Let's go. It's Fortnite Jonesy. All right, I just found the last med kit. For the second floor of my base, I'm going to use these blue pool tables. In my gazebo video, I actually talked about how good they are. These pool tables are genuinely coming in clutch right now. They're going to be an amazing like second floor piece. Now for the second floor walls themselves, I'm probably just going to use TV stands. I don't know what else I could really use. Maybe instead of making an actual second floor, I might put like a balcony up here. This does look really nice for like a patio area to sit with friends. These modern lamps are going to look fire on a patio. So look, we place one right here and then maybe another one right here. I always forget that this snack shop has food and when I see it, it's such a dub. Now this patio area does have a secret escape right into the base if I see an employee and then I can just slide out if things get really bad. Now, what I needed here was to use these really nice patio chairs. They're actually really, really comfy and look like they're a vibe. Is that another painting of the rock? Let's go. I really dislike the new feature where you need to get thirst. If anybody else feels the same way, please tell me down below. I liked it before when there were only- Oh lord. I was gonna talk about food, but Blood Knight just began. This is not good, guys. I gotta run back to the base ASAP. I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. No, 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 as you guys can see, the uh, purple lamp right there is R1. Gotta quickly run. I don't see any employees, so I think I'm safe. Let's slide through. Put the rock painting in the wall. Okay, we made it. We are safe during Blood Knight. We have a base, and I really don't see anybody. I genuinely think we're safe. I really don't know if I should keep on building here. I really like my base, not gonna lie. Despite the base being super clunky, this was really fun even without rotating. Now, let's actually go check up on the other people who are building bases, and let's bring them some food just to be nice. I don't want to ruin this person's base since I can't rotate, but let's actually drop them some food just so that when they come back, they have a nice welcome package waiting for them. Wow, this base right here looks abandoned. Somebody was just playing on the box TV. Even though it's blood night, I gotta go help people out. Let me actually see if there are any bases near me that I could give snacks to. It really looks like there's nobody in the- Oh no! Employee alert! Employee alert! Run! I am not dying today. Why is this man so small? Where's my base? Okay, there it is. We are out of here, boys. Get off me, boy. Get off, bruh. All right, we have made it. Okay, this man is definitely not getting in, right? Right? I'm safe? Okay, I really hope I'm safe. Let me actually use this med kit. I really hope I'm safe. Let me actually check. Employee? You there? Mr. Mini employee? And he's running away. Look at that. So I guess it is possible to make a base without rotating. That's actually really good for stuff. Now, if you want to see more 3008 videos like this, click on that playlist that just popped up on your screen. But it's been Raid, and I will see you all tomorrow.